Pray this, get that. Not. Dear reader, I want to teach you to pray a daring prayer that God always answers. That's from Bruce Wilkinson's book, The Prayer of Jabez. Below knee. First Chronicles 4.10 says, Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Hi, I'm Pastor Steve with your one minute poke in the eye. Why do Christians treat the God of the universe as if he's a cosmic vending machine? Please don't think that there's some magical incantation <laughs> that will move God's hand. God honored Jabez's prayer because it was his sovereign will to do so. But this was Jabez's prayer, not yours or mine. God is not obligated to say yes, no matter how hard or loud or sincerely you pray. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. That's 1 John 5. Got that? If it's God's will, he will answer your prayer. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. That's also 1 John 5. Don't believe God owes you land or money or health or anything else. If it's his will to answer your prayer, then he will answer it. Just be glad. Just be glad that your name is written in the book of life. Hi, I'm Pastor Steve of Solid Rock Bible Church, jc.org. I hope this I poke helps you to see God a little more clearly today and that you would pray a little more accurately.